Hello, it's Thursday. Welcome to my living room. So you know what I need to do? I need to organize my craft shelves. So guess what you're watching today? This week we're gonna do that thing where I use my channel as an excuse to do something that just generally needs to be done. And for me, that's organizing my craft shelves. So I have this set here, and I also have another set that's kind of sitting behind where the camera is. I'll insert a shot here. And basically I bought a second set of shelves thinking, oh, I need more space. And then I did this to them. So really I'm wasting a lot of space and I just, I would really, I really like to fix that. So there's a whole bunch of stuff in here that I just can't wait to rediscover. So like there is a bunch of my old like drawing and potentially old pattern design in there. More, more drawings in there. I've got all kinds of interesting things in like containers and ooh, boxes and inside drawers. And I don't know what's in any of them. And these shelves just have this accumulation of junk. So I've got some of my like shipping materials in here and I've got some of these boxes just contain yarn, but I've got all my old, like material. I've got my pigeon costume, <laughs> like this paint stuff. I've got a bunch of Lego. There's just chaos that's taken over everything. So I do have a plan of attack. So step one, we're gonna clear everything off, all of the shelves, and we're gonna sort it into piles by the kind of craft that it is. So I'll have yarn here, paper drawing stuff here, maybe stationery there. I don't know, piles of stuff. I'm then going to clean the shelves. I have a couple more sets of drawers to build that I can potentially install as well if I decide that we need more drawers. Should help me stay organized. And then I'm gonna just put everything back on the shelves and we're gonna see how much space I actually have. The camera's slowly tilting downwards. All right, so that's our plan of attack. Let's do this. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna get all of the toys off the tops of the shelves. So now I've assembled a sufficiently judgmental peanut gallery, it's time to actually get going. Okay, so that is the first set of shelves emptied and uh, things are, uh, <laughs> I'm surrounded, I'm surrounded by stuff. So now we have to do the second set of shelves. <coughs> okay, uh, sorry, we've stirred up a lot of dust in here. So second set of shelves took way less time than I thought they would, which I guess makes a lot of sense given that there wasn't a lot on them really. Now I have these very blank empty shelves, well, mostly blank, all ready to be filled back up with stuff. Disregard the tripod. And I gotta tell you, the mid project doubt is setting in. I'm not even sure there's a video here. It's just a lot of mess. So over there, we have some piles of stuff. That's just the, the display stuff on the, on the coffee table, covered in stuff. We have more stuff over here. Oh, look, a giant pile of stuff. So uh, I guess I'll take you on a tour of what I've got in each of the piles and um, yeah, I'll work out what to do from there. Okay, so starting in this corner, we have a gargantuan tower of uh, yarn in boxes. So that's just the yarn that you might remember from my, my video back in November where I bagged it all up. It's all still vaguely in its boxes and it's just, Currently in this tower. Now I put all of the works in progress that I found along the way into this box here. You can see there is a giant pigeon on top because it's waiting to be frogged so I can reclaim the yarn, but that's a whole other project for a different day. We're not getting that distracted. Moving around here, we have a bunch of like finished art pieces that I've kind of worked on over the years. All sorts of various bits and pieces there. So we've got a lot of that. Stuff I want to keep. Then we have 
uh, just blank paper, drawing paper, that's some easel type stuff that I actually use in my studio as the backdrops for my videos. Blank notebooks, writing that actually is writing. And we have a pile of, first of all, a bunch of old patterns that my Nana gave me that I want to look through at some point. And we also have a bunch of, just a whole lot, this was treasure, I found treasure. Bunch of pattern designs from way back when, and I just, I can't wait to go through them. I've got like Sunflora, there's the original pony pattern in there, there's the original, um, at one point I did all the evolutions, and so I've got my Sylveon in there and my Vaporeon, and I'm just very excited to go through this pile a bit later. Again, not getting distracted. And I just realized I had a whole other pile of these types of notebooks uh, over by my desk. And so I've just moved them over here as well, just so that I keep them all in the same place. So this is all just patterns waiting to be gone through. Moving up here, we have our woodcraft station. This actually belongs to my partner, but it was on the shelves, so it becomes part of this. So he has a half-built music box, some sandpaper, some glue, a bunch of stuff there. I've got my stationery here. So that's textures, markers, pens, pencils, all that jazz, all that fun stuff. That's all currently in that pile. Here I have the pile of paperwork waiting to be filed. Um, let's just move right along there. And I've got my, so, ooh, stepped on something. Uh, I've got two boxes full of stuff that I use to like package things when I sell finished items. I've got my like tape dispenser and more tissue paper. That's just a big old bag of trash. Uh, hopefully this camera angle isn't making everyone too dizzy. That's what I stepped on. It's just a bunch of crocheting tools that I found along the way. And then over here, at one point I was trying to learn how to sew. So I bought a bunch of fabric and I've got a sewing box here somewhere that I've misplaced, but that's in a pile here too. And yeah, so that was very handy when I suddenly had to drop everything and make masks a couple of weeks ago. But that is just a box of fabric. That's what that is. Over here we have my, uh, look at this tiny little, look at it. Ah. Um, we have my exploration into origami. We have paints. And we have just generic craft crap. So that's a bunch of wire, some felt, we've got some shiny plasticky stuff, bunch of little sparkly things. Oh, focus, there we go, sparkly things. Yep, all that's here. Uh, and then on the back of the couch, we have a bunch of art books. It will not focus. A bunch of art books. We have a box full of like tools, like hammers and like actual tools, like a drill. And we have a pile of Lego boxes, the Lego models that I, I'm not going to break them down. They're going to stay on display, I think, because I really like them. Um, but I can't bring myself to throw the boxes away. So I've got all of the, all of these here too. But I think that's everything. So now I'm going to clean the shelves. They're all very dusty. I'm very sneezy at the moment. And then I'm going to try and put all of this back in a way that makes sense so that I can find everything when I need it. So, uh, yeah, wish me luck. Okay, so we built some drawers and now we are just going to file everything back where it goes. I basically decided that these ones here are the ones we don't look at as often, so they'll be the more functional shelves. So we'll put stuff on here that I need to access regularly, like our tools. And then this set of shelves is a little bit harder to get to, but we see them more often from more different angles of the house. So I'll be turning those into a bit more of a display. Okay, so we basically finished the, the functional set of shelves here. So what we have is my crochet work in progresses in here. I have yarn in this one here. I'm working on keeping myself in frame. I'm, I'm working on it. More works in progress in that one there. I've got the bottom two rows. I'm just, you know what? I'm just going to swap the camera. So the bottom two rows are entirely yarn. And then I've got my sewing kit and some colored pencils that wouldn't fit anywhere else in this final bit. On top, I have some paperwork and filing and to be filed and then just a, an empty box that I'm going to probably put some notepads in. And then in each of these drawers, which I've labeled now, quite pleased with that, I have, let's see, I've got some wire and some felt. 
palettes. Got my acrylics and watercolors. Just, uh, just um, a lot of pens, markers, different kinds of paper. Got the wood crafting stuff for the boyfriend. All of our tools live in there. And what proper adult household doesn't have a Lego drawer? So that is our first set of shelves and now we are going to flip things around and I'm going to do the more like fancy looking display shelves. So. <laughs> Okay, so I've set up the second set of shelves. Oh, it is not focusing. Okay, so I've finished setting up the second set of shelves and we're just going to do a little tour of them now. <laughs> so along the top, I have tried to cram in as many of my designs as I possibly can. I'm also including a couple that are not mine, like you can see the Happy Potamus sitting off to the side. And I'm sorry, and the Giant Llama was based on the Llama No Drama. Uh, but most of the rest are mine, I believe. Yep. Okay, and then I've got, oh, let's zoom in a little. So I've got a little Lego display. Then I've got, so all of these, these beautiful treasures hold my old patterns in them. And I've got some vintage ones in there as well. And so like, at some point I have to go through these and just see if there's any worth sharing. I'm really excited about this. Then I've got just some of the inspiration books that I have. I've got some Brian Froud in there, a little bit of Escher. Just, I love these sorts of books, and so I keep them there for my inspiration. Uh, this is my more art. This is my art shelf. Some finished pieces, my, my current sketchbook, and just a bunch of blank paper in there for when I need it. Then I have all of my shipping stuff. So I've got my tape and my business cards, and then I've got tissue paper and packing materials in those two. And then my material ended up back in this one. And then I've got four empty shelves, which I'm pretty excited about. And I also just went through and I forgot that the camera was still facing me. Excuse me. So I also just went through and added a few more bits and pieces to the functional shelves. So nothing, nothing massive, just a few little bits and pieces at the top there. Uh, so yeah, you can see there's sort of a few little bits of decoration. I have filled this box here with just some old notebooks and then that's it. I'm so glad to be done. <laughs> And I actually ended up hanging up my dragonflies from what are admittedly some Christmas decorations still up from last year. But I hung them up along my curtain rod and I, I like them up there and I think they might stay there for a while. It's so much nicer, it's so orderly and labelled and I can find everything. Right, so that's it for this week's video. Like if you liked it, comment if you've got something to say. I have a new pattern coming out next week and so hit the subscribe button and I'll see you then. Okay, bye! It's really filming, you know that, right? Assemble. Okay, there you go, there you go. It's going to serve you right if I use any of no, that. No, 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 no. We might be using some of that.